the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission has just passed, and many are looking forward to what the future has to offer. At the moment there's so much going on in regards to space travel, and it's only going to increase as time goes on. The launch date of the Apollo 11 was on the 16th of July 1969, and ever since then it's inspired millions of people across the globe. This mission saw NASA land people on the moon's surface. Not only that, but it was broadcast to over 600 million people. As of right now though, NASA are planning their next mission to the moon. Recently, NASA have announced they're working hard to try and get astronauts on the lunar south pole by 2024. On Saturday, the space agency announced their new Orion spacecraft is coming along as planned. The space agency tested out this new tech, and it proved that they're one step closer to getting humans back on the moon. Astronaut Randy Bresnik said the following, This is the fastest accelerating launch abort system ever designed. The neat part is the next time this launch abort system flies there will be crew underneath it. NASA engineers who are observing the test said the following, The rocket travelling at 45,000 feet or 14,700 meters, shortly after the launch abort structure on top of the capsule fired and pulled the Orion capsule from the rocket. During this, the rocket was travelling at 800 miles per hour, or 1,300 kilometers per hour. It's believed the capsule landed in the ocean and broke up. It didn't deploy any parachutes as the researchers only wanted to test the abort system, and that worked fine. Mike Pence said the following while at the Kennedy Space Center. Thanks to the hard work of men and women of NASA, and of American industry, the Orion space vehicle is complete and ready to begin preparations for its historic first flight. NASA want to land the first woman on the moon by 2024. As of right now, NASA have said they're looking forward to getting the chosen astronauts on the moon, and they're looking to do this as soon as possible, but they want to make sure that everything is working fine before they go ahead. One thing that NASA want to do is ensure as many tests as possible are being carried out before the launch. As mentioned though, as of today the tests that the crafts have gone through have all been successful, and it does seem like if things keep going this way humans will be back on the moon by 2024. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.